This is my newest test vehicle, my 2004 Golf R32. Now, for those of you who don't know what an R32 is, it is basically a little VW two-door Golf on steroids. It's got 18-inch wheels that come standard, all-wheel drive. It's got a six-speed manual, and it has a 3.2-liter nested V6. So even though you see uh, six spark plugs that seem almost in a line, it looks almost like a straight six. It's not. It's a, it's a nested V6, which means rather than separating the block into two heads and taking on a large angle V configuration, the cylinders are actually nested within each other, and you can kind of visualize it by looking at the spark plugs, how each one is just a little bit off the line from each uh, the other, enabling you to squeeze the six cylinders together in a more close configuration also retaining the use of just one head instead of two heads meaning that you can have the exhaust manifold which is back here against the firewall on one side and the intake manifold which is this gray deal right here on the other side all the intake ports are right here underneath where my finger is so that it has the configuration of an inline four but the versatility, performance, and power of a V6. It's an ingenious design. And those of you who are, are familiar with the uh, VW VR6 saga uh, are intimately familiar with this engine and appreciate it very much. And they're bulletproof. This particular specimen has a, almost 102,000 miles on it. And look at the shape it's in. It's gorgeous. It runs great. doesn't burn any oil. Uh, you know, it's fast as all hell. So... It's a great little car. I love it. It's got power, everything. And it's got uh, leather seats, leather trimmed interior. You know, it's got a power sunroof. I mean, it's got all the nice com creature comforts that in 2004 were like top of the line. Okay, so um, that this is the newest test vehicle. You know, for 102,000 miles. She's in beautiful shape. So. Obviously, I've got, you can see the hydrogen injection sticker. And also, uh, you'll catch uh, the website here on my windshield, www.dpenergy.us, where you will find all of our products. And in the back would be the hydrogen system. And this here is a 5x5 five five eight cell unit with dual reserves, dual tank reserves. This is the main tank. These are two primary reserves and your bubbler. This is your standard system uh, that you can see on the website that I offer. And also we have a current limiting PWM here to regulate current. And the blue line, the exit line, that comes off the unit that goes down underneath the vehicle into the intake system. Just like on my other applications, comes into the intake tube and introduces the hydrogen-oxygen mixture right here after the mass airflow sensor. And to tune and control engine parameter functions to get the most out of the hydrogen enrichment system, we have the Volo chip with the custom R32 map that enables this ECU to read and understand the presence of hydroxy. This system I've just installed and unveiled at the 2011 Wolfskart uh, Festival in which this car took third place. Um, and my neighbor who has an R32 that's got a turbocharger on it, he took first place. So us Islanders kind of swept the festival this weekend. And people were really excited about the hydrogen system and I will be posting numbers on that system. Even high performance vehicles can be retrofit, retrofitted with the hydrogen system and it does not diminish performance at all in the least bit and can be incorporated easily into the chassis.